Across the border to Connecticut, where change could be on the horizon for the Enfield Square Mall property. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey explains. Despite living minutes away from the Enfield Square Mall, Peggy and Robert Fontaine choose alternative options for running their errands. A lot of online shopping and then the movies will go to, you know, right over the border in Springfield. We spoke with the couple Monday night after their first trip to the shopping center since December to run a quick errand. They tell Western Mass News the mall we see today is a drastic change from over a decade ago when once upon a time more storefronts were filled and the movie theater was open. My mother comes and she, when it's cold, she'll walk the mall and she tells us how it smells and it, you can just tell it there's like mold and it's just not inviting. The property could see a facelift fairly soon. We're told Woodsonia Real Estate is currently looking to purchase the property from current owner Namdar, tear down everything except the Target and build a mixed use space with retail restaurants, over 400 luxury apartment units and two hotels. The price tag attached to redevelopment, $250 million. However, there's still more to do. Developers said this will only happen if they get approved for grant money from the state. The town is working on retrieving a $20 million grant to make it happen. In the meantime, the town passed numerous resolutions Monday, giving developers tax breaks to finish the project. Enfield Mayor Ken Nelson says this project should be seen as welcome change by the town. We have tried to deal with the current owner and they're not very easy to deal with. And this group having experience dealing with them, I believe on three other mall properties, they know what they're up against. The couple agrees, noting a project like this could benefit their economy and attract visitors to their town. Give it some thought because I think it could definitely help the community. Reporting in Enfield, Connecticut, Olivia Hickey, Western Mass News.